with Robin Amorin set to start as the manager of Manchester United, you can say trainer of Manchester United. Today, in this video, I want to give you guys three players that must be in that system of Robin uh, Amorin's system. We've been listening about how he goes for a 3-4-3 uh, three, three system. But guess what? These three players I want to mention, they're players that are not in your, in your thinking. And guys, please, guys, I want to hear from you. My question for the video is, Name me three most important players in Manchester United uh, um, going forward in Robin uh, Amorin's system. Drop your comments below. We know you guys are smarter. Some of you are smarter than I, you know. And uh, yeah, so guys, my name is Rav Dukan. I do videos here every day on Manchester United. I'm a United fan uh, just like you. Please, guys, just click the like on the video. Get involved with the United Way TV. We haven't been doing videos every day, but we will. Let's go straight to it. Amorin, we know, is in Old Trafford. Amorin is uh, the new, um, uh, good, uh, good uh, I would say the new manager of Manchester United, but the new guy who we are expecting to Manchester United. So what players are going to be in his system? How will Amorin play? We know he has said he's going to stick to his guns, meaning he's going to play for, he's going to play, sorry, 3-4-3 three, three with United. But um, look, there are certain players that we know Amarin will need. And for me, I'm going first with Mazuari. Mazuari is that player. Mazuari is that player which some are saying he's going to play in the back three because he did play one back as a three, which I think yes, but I also think no. I think bringing Mazuari as a back three, he keeps Dalo. Dalo don't know that Dalo has to play as a midfielder. But I think with the creativity of Dalo and Mazuari, I think Mazuari might just be one of the right wingers. I don't know, guys. Tell me what you think below. This is a very tricky situation. I will go for either of them, but I think the energy Mazuari gives, that he's good on the ball, he's athletic, he is uh, dope, one of the best signings Manchester United have signed <clears throat> in the last three, four, five years. Uh, after Bruno Fernandes, he's dubbed what, the best signing of the season already. Tell me what you think about this player. I think Mazuari it's, has been fantastic for Manchester United. Look, if we are not at the bottom of the table, if we are looking exciting on the pitch, it's not Marcus Rashford, isn't it? It is Mazuari, the guy who gives us hope that we can play the kind of football we want. So Ruben Amore need to look at this player very carefully, see how he will be useful for his system. And he's still young. He will just turn 27, Mazuari, just ne next month. So I think it's a player. It's a very good signing for United. And uh, uh, he's first on my list on players which Manchester United need to need to keep, give another contract. If he is doing well on the injury side, I think he is energetic and he has a lot to offer for Manchester United. The next player will be surprising for those of you who are old school United fans. But also, but so, so for those of you who are Fergie fans, you will find him very important, interesting, and that's Ahmad. Look, Ahmad has nothing to prove anymore. When I mean he has nothing to prove, it's not that he's not a good player. It's because he is a, a player which has already shown what he can do if he wants to be, uh, if, if he's given a chance. I think, take it or leave it, this must be a big statement, but you know what? In the present Manchester United squad, Ahmad is the most talented footballer we have. In terms of talent, I think he is a very skilled player. He's the most skilled player. I've heard people try to compare his role, his playing style uh, to that of Lionel Messi because he's a left-footed player. He knows how to keep the ball. The thing is, when you have a player who is good at possession, keeping the ball in him, it gives a lot of advantage for energetic midfielders, energetic attackers to move it gives you that extra in, in the highest level two three seconds four seconds is a lot to take in to recover <laughs> so when so considering that a three four three will be an energetic system i think i'm i think there is no way you keep Ahmad on the bench you need to be giving this guy at least 60 minutes for the next three games the, I will go to a, a, a to as far as saying that if Amarin Robin Amarin doesn't start or give the confidence to uh, to Ahmad that may be the beginning of um, a very difficult ride for him because you know we know that in Manchester United it's always about it mostly the media always try to push the English players which I understand but you know United we don't have to be a team only for English players we have to be this modern team who is ready 
to um to give the best at the highest level so i think ahmad will play a massive role going forward for manchester united and uh, he uh, he deserves all the respect and right that that he has another player which will be so important that he uh, uh gets in the united team is a player that Amor, uh, Omari knows is manuel gate manuel ogate was brought into manchester united to solve the energy problem i mean when i mean energy problem i'm not talking about electricity i'm talking about a player who comes into manchester united and by the way he gives the midfielders an option for the creative midfielders to play Imagine a midfield with, with Ogate, uh, Bruno Fernandes, Ahmad for the creativity, uh, and uh, you have another midfielder. You can, well, I mean, let, let's put, you can say, uh, Casemiro. I think it will be a very difficult midfield to break because his energy will bring us a lot. I would go as far as saying that one of the reasons, not the most important reason, one of the reasons that Eric Tegna fell out with fans and um, Eric Shana was uh, seen as a manager who doesn't have a vision, who doesn't have um, a plan, is the way he bought players. We could say Mount, Meso Mount was bought and had injuries. Ogate, you, we have been singing the whole summer of Manuel Ogate to Manchester United, and it's a huge money uh, um, transfer. And guess what? He comes, he's on the bench. He's not giving enough time. He's not giving time for him to integrate. He's on the bench and that was one of the reasons i think um the owners just had to draw a line and say look this guy this guy doesn't know what he's doing ali he's a good manager but in regards to united he doesn't really know what he's doing so i think ogate coming in the energetic player i think he was going to bring us a lot in terms of amorian system don't forget the amorian system is more about energetic more about involvement teamwork hard work so these are the three players i think Amore needs to integrate in Manchester United. Tell me what you think below. Who are your three players? Are there names in this list? Because I just want to know what you think as someone who knows United, someone who supports the channel, someone who who, who spend your, 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 your time, your precious time watching the Manchester United games. It is so important that I get your input. Is this the kind of players uh, that are these players in your list of players that will make uh, come out good for Manchester United? And guys, look, well, Amoren coming to United, it wouldn't. I want to say this as a fan on my little community. We'll have to be patient. To enjoy, you have to be patient with uh, Amoren uh, coming in, into the channel. Uh, I'm sorry, coming <laughs> into Manchester United, sorry, uh, because uh, we're going to have difficult days. Let me say this, guys. Um, moving into, uh, I mean, change is very difficult. It's change has never been an easy topic. It has never been an easy experience. We will, there will be many things that he's going to get it wrong in terms of not only his tactics but the way the trust he gives in players we have seen managers come here trust these players for one two games and the players that down to turn down to i mean down tools are not performing properly uh as a united player so um i think amaren his force as an individual is his charisma his he he, he speaks several languages and that will really help him he help him integrate quicker than eric ten Hag, who Though I did support him to the end, I really think he, he lacks his lack of charisma. Also, had to turn down many offers from him. So, guys, please tell me uh, what you think. You know, these are my three players. I would have gone for five, but I won't do so. I want to see those three players, which must at least two of those players have to play 80 90 percent of our games. Uh, and that will be Ogate and also um, <clears throat> Ogate and Mazari. So that's where we are, guys. Please make sure you smash a like on the video. Get involved with the United Way TV. We'll try to get you guys videos on this topic. If you watch till now, you're a legend. And uh, yeah, tell me what you think. And I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.